Hello everyone, welcome to Harshi e class. I am Rani. Today I will solve exercise 2.1 whole numbers. Exercise 2.1 first question write the next three natural numbers after 10,999. Here after number, after number is nothing but the successor of the given number. For finding the successor of this number, we need to add 1 to it. Let's do that. 10,999 plus 1 is equals to 11,000. 11,000 plus 1 is equals to 11,001. 11,001 plus 1 is equals to 11,002. Here, find the next three natural numbers after 10,999. Those are 11,000, 11,001, 11,002. Second question. Write the three whole numbers occurring just before 10,001. Just before, before number, that means predecessor of these numbers we need to find. For finding the predecessor of the given number, we need to subtract 1 from it. So, 10,001 minus 1 is equals to 10,000, 10,000 minus 1 is equals to 9,999, 9,999 minus 1 is equals to 9,998. So, the three whole numbers occurring just before 10,001 are 10,000, 9,999, 9998. Third question. Which is the smallest whole number? Whole number starts from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that they are uncountable. So, here the smallest whole number is nothing but 0. 0 is the smallest whole number. Fourth question. How many numbers are there between 32 and 53? For finding this, there are two methods. One is a lengthy method, another one is a short method. I will explain both the methods. First, write the numbers starting from 32 to 53. Okay. After that, strike out the number 32 and 53. Because here the question is, how many whole numbers are there between between 32 and 53? So we need to strike out the 32 and 53. Then count the remaining numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That means there are 20 whole numbers between 32 and 53. How many? 20. It is easy to do in this method for the smaller numbers. Whereas the question is find the whole numbers between uh, 200 and uh, 350 or else between 268 and 424. During that time it is difficult to do the calculation in this method. So, another method is that subtract the smaller number from the greater number. Subtract the smaller number from the greater number. That is 53 minus 32. 1 and 2. How many? 21. From this 21, we need to subtract 1 again. Every time after finding the difference between these two numbers, given numbers, we need to subtract 1 again because here 53 minus 32. We are considering 53 here. But we actually we don't need to count the 53 because we need to find the between number. So, after finding the difference, from that difference, subtract 1 so that we will get the exact number of whole numbers present between 32 and 53. Fifth question, write the successor of four numbers are given A, B, C, D. We need to write the 
find the successor of these numbers for finding the successor of the given number we need to add 1 to it plus 1 a1 the successors are a1 here the given number is 24,40,701 plus 1 is equals to 24,40,702. Next, 1,199 plus 1 is equals to 1,200. The successor of 1,199 is 1,200. C1. 10,99,999 plus 1. Its successor will be 11 lakhs. D1. 23,45,670 plus 1 is equals to 23,45,671. In this way, we will find the successors of the given number. Next, sixth question. Write the predecessor of... In this question also again four numbers are given we need to find these numbers predecessor for finding the predecessor we need to subtract one we need to minus one from the given number let's see first one a1 94 the predecessor of 94 is 93 94 minus 1 is 93 next 10,000 10,000 minus 1 is 9999 next number 2 lakh 8090 its predecessor is 2 lakh 8089 76 lakh 54321 minus 1 is equals to 76 lakh in this way, we will find the predecessor of the given numbers. Seventh question. In each of the following pairs of numbers, state which whole number is on the left of the other whole number on the number line. In the previous video, I explained to you about the number line. What is a number line? Number line is a straight line drawn with the markings. 0 1 2 3 4 these numbers are going to be marked with equal distance between them the distance between two numbers is called unit distance on the number line number line starts from 0 1 2 3 4 like that always the smaller number which number comes on the left side the smaller number comes on the left side of the greater number. So here we need to find the number which comes on the left side. Also write with the appropriate sign greater than or less than between them. A1 530 503. Compare these two numbers which is the smaller number here. 503 503 is smaller number so write that so 503 is on the left side of 530 on the number line always the smaller number comes on the left side of the greater number on the number line next 370 and 307 which is the greater number here 370 so Number 307 is on the left side of 370 on the number line. Next, D1. 98,765 and 56,789. Here, 98,765 is greater than 56,789. So, the smaller number, that is 56,789 is on the left side of 98,765 on the number line. Next D1. The given numbers are 98,30,415. And the next number 1 crore 23,001. Which is the greater number? 
the second number. One crore twenty-three thousand one is the greater number. So ninety-eight thousand. Sorry, ninety-eight lakh thirty thousand four hundred fifteen is on the left side of one crore twenty-three thousand one on the number line. Next eighth question: Which of the following statements are true and which are false? There are few statements. A one, zero is the smallest natural number. Is it true or false? It's false because natural number starts from one. One, two, like that. So there is no zero in the natural number. It is a false statement. Zero is not a natural number. B. Four hundred is the predecessor of three hundred ninety-nine. It's false. The predecessor of three hundred ninety-nine is three hundred ninety-eight. So false statement. C one. Zero is the smallest whole number. Yes, whole number starts from zero, so zero is the smallest whole number. True. D one six hundred is the successor of five hundred ninety nine. It's true. For finding successor, we need to add one. Five hundred ninety nine plus one is equals to six hundred. So it is a true statement. E one all natural numbers are whole numbers. Yes, it's true. All natural numbers are whole numbers. Next F one. All whole numbers are natural number. False. Whole number starts from zero. Zero is a whole number. It's not a natural number. So this statement is false. G one. The predecessor of a two-digit number is never a single-digit number. It's a false statement. For example, the predecessor of a two-digit number. Let's take a two-digit number that is ten. The predecessor of ten is nine, which is a single-digit number. So it's a false statement. H one. One is the smallest whole number. It's a false statement. Zero is the smallest whole number. The natural number one has no predecessor. True. Natural number starts from one, so there is no, there is no predecessor for number one. Next, the whole number one has no predecessor. It's a false statement because whole numbers zero, one, two, three like that. Here the predecessor of whole number one is zero. The whole number thirteen lies between eleven and twelve. It's a false statement here. Thirteen comes after twelve. Not between eleven and twelve. Next, the whole number zero has no predecessor. True, because whole numbers are starting from zero only. There is no whole number before zero. If you do zero minus one, it will be minus one, which is not a whole number. The successor of a two-digit number is always a two-digit number. It's a wrong statement, false statement. The successor of a two-digit number, for example, ninety-nine. The successor of ninety-nine is hundred, which is a three-digit number. So it's a false statement. So thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel.